Zebras by Kate Riggs. Zebras are members of the horse family. The three main kinds of zebras live in Africa. Many zebras live in grasslands. They also live in dry, rocky places. Plains zebras live in countries from Ethiopia to South Africa. Zebras are known for their striped fur. Every zebra has a different stripe pattern. Some kinds of zebras have stripes all the way down their legs. Other zebras have white legs without stripes. Some zebras have shadow stripes between the black and white stripes. Zebras can be more than 5 feet 1.5 meters tall at the shoulders. Male zebras are heavier than female zebras. The biggest adult males can weigh up to 1,000 pounds or 454 kilograms. Most adults weigh about 700 pounds, 318 kilograms. Males are called stallions and females are called mares. A zebra is a kind of animal called a mammal. Mammals have hair or fur. They feed their young with milk. Zebras live in hot places. They sweat and pant to cool off. Zebras bark and make other sounds to talk to each other. Zebras eat plants. They eat a lot of grass and leaves from small bushes. Zebras have teeth that are good for chewing. A zebra needs to drink water almost every day. A watering hole is a place where many zebras gather. A mother zebra has one foal. A foal is born with white fur and brown stripes. It weighs 55 to 88 pounds or 25 to 40 kilograms. The foal drinks milk from its mother. It starts eating grass when it is about one week old. Foals can stand up about 20 minutes after their birth. Zebras live in groups called harems, bands, or herds. Bands of zebras usually have many females or many males, but not both. Bands join together to make a zebra herd. A zebra can live for about 25 years in the wild. A single stallion leads his harem of mares and young. Groups of zebras feed in the daytime. A male zebra looks out for predators like lions and cheetahs. He barks to let other zebras know if a predator is close. Zebras make a circle around their foals to keep them safe. Zebras can run 40 miles or 64 kilograms per hour to get away from lions. Zebras are popular animals to see at zoos. They can live a long time in a zoo. Some people go to Africa on safari. They hope to see many of these striped animals there. Wild zebras often run into other animals at watering holes. The end. Zebras by Derek Sobel. What are zebras? Zebras are animals with black and white stripes. They are related to horses. Every zebra has a different pattern of stripes. What zebras eat? Zebras live and graze on savannas. They eat grass, twigs, and bark. Families and herds. Male zebras are called stallions. Females are called mares. Young are called foals. Zebras live together in families. Many families travel together in a herd. One herd can have thousands of zebras. 
predators will not attack a zebra in a herd. A zebra family stands in a circle if a predator attacks. The foals stay inside the circle. Grooming and teeth. Zebras groom each other. They nibble each other with their teeth. Zebras also show their teeth to greet each other. Smile, zebra. Baby zebras. Zebra foal. A baby zebra is called a foal. A newborn foal has brown stripes. The foal has long legs. They wobble as it tries to stand. The foal can run an hour after birth. Time with mom. Mom and her foal stay close together. This helps them bond. Mom grooms her foal. She licks its hair clean. The foal drinks mom's milk when hungry. Joining the herd. Soon they join the herd. The foal can find mom by her stripes, smell, and sound. The foal is safer in the herd. Its stripes help it blend in. The herd runs fast when predators are near. This foal can keep up. A Zebra's World by Carolyn Arnold There are three kinds of zebras. The zebras in this book are plains zebras. Where plains zebras live? Africa. Habitat? Open plains and grassy woodlands. Food? Grass and low growing plants. Height? Four feet or 1.2 meters. Weight? up to 550 pounds or 248 kilograms. Animal class, mammals. Scientific name, Equus burchelli. A baby zebra is called a foal. Follow a zebra foal as she grows up in Africa and learn about a zebra's world. The sun rises over the African plain. Zebras wake up and sniff the fresh morning air. There is a new member of the herd. She is just a few hours old. Soon, the baby zebra and her mother will join the rest of the herd in their daily search for fresh green grass. A newborn zebra weighs between 60 and 70 pounds, 27 and 32 kilograms, and is about three feet or 90 centimeters tall. The baby zebra bends her knees and struggles to stand. She takes a few wobbly steps. Soon she gets her balance. Now the younger zebra can see the other zebras in the herd. They are looking for something to eat. A newborn zebra is able to stand within 20 minutes of birth.
Some of the other females in the herd have babies too. Each mother knows her own baby by its smell and the pattern of its stripes. The leader of the herd is a full-grown male zebra. He protects the herd. He makes sure that no one wanders too far. He chases away other zebras that are not in his herd. Plain zebras usually live in family herds of 5 to 20 animals. Each herd has one adult male plus several females and their foals. The younger zebra is now three weeks old. She eats grass for the first time. She bites off the blades with her sharp front teeth. Once a day, the young zebra and her mother follow the herd to a water hole. The thirsty zebras lap up the cool water. While some drink, others keep an eye out for danger. A full-grown zebra can eat up to 20 pounds, 9 kilograms of food a day. Nearby, something rustles in a patch of tall grass. It's a lion. Qua, 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 calls out one of the zebras. Danger is near. The, zebra, the zebras take off across the plain. The young zebra gallops fast to keep up. Her hooves pound the hard ground. As the herd flees, the zebras call to one another. They make sure that no one gets left behind. Day and night, zebras must look out for lions, wild dogs, cheetahs, and other meat eaters. Zebras can outrun most predators. The young zebra is now four months old. She plays with the other young zebras in the herd. The zebras push and shove one another. They race across the plain. When they get tired, they lay down to rest. Exercise helps a young zebra's muscles grow strong. The young zebras were born in the rainy season. Now the rain has stopped. Water holes are drying up. It is time for the zebras to go to the river to find more water. The zebras walk for many miles. Many family herds come together to form one giant herd. They see other thirsty animals at the river too. The young zebra is now a year old. She is able to take care of herself. Soon her mother will have a new baby. Then there will be another young zebra ready to run with the herd. The zebras stay near the river until the rainy season comes again. Then the herds head back to the open plain to feast on new green grass. The Little Zebra Who Learned His Colors by Jetta Robards. Little Zebra loved to paint, especially in bright colors, so he decided to paint all the colors in the garden. He started by painting the bold red poppies. But they turned out to be a bit tricky to paint. Then he found some delightful yellow buttercups. He added some blue forget-me-nots and collected a wheelbarrow of pretty pink tulips that he thought would look just lovely. 
Little zebra found a strange green vine. He decided to take a closer look and climbed it right up to the clouds. He got a bit wet painting the white water lilies, but little zebra didn't mind. He danced as he painted the cheerful orange marigolds. and smiled as he sat among the fragrant purple lavender. At last, Little Zebra's painting was complete. With all the colors of the garden, what a beautiful painting. How Zebras Got Their Stripes, a Ugandan Folktale. Long, long ago, there were no zebras, but there were a lot of donkeys. The donkeys worked hard each and every day. They had no time to play or to relax. It was just work, work, work. The donkey carried heavy bundles. They carried the bundles for miles, but they never felt appreciated for the work they did. One day, two donkeys got fed up. They decided they did not want to work all the time. Instead, they wanted to graze in green fields. They wanted to drink from clear streams and they wanted to lie on soft grass. The donkeys went to see a wise old man. They told him their problem. The wise old man thought and thought. He agreed that they worked too hard and he wanted to help the donkeys. Then suddenly the wise old man jumped up. I have an idea, he said. What is your idea, asked the donkeys. I am going to paint you, said the man. I will paint you and no one will know you are donkeys. The wise old man went off to find some paint and he returned in just a matter of minutes. He had two pots of paint. One pot was filled with white paint and the other was filled with black paint. The old man began to paint the donkeys. First, he painted them white, and then he painted black stripes over the white paint. When he was finished, the donkeys did not look at all like donkeys. You no longer look like donkeys, the wise old man said. Everyone will be fooled. I will call you something else. I will call you zebras. The zebras went to a field to graze. No one bothered them and they did not have to work. Instead, they lay in the grass and slept. Soon other donkeys saw the zebras. They asked the zebras where they came from. When the zebras told the donkeys their secret, the donkeys all rushed to see the wise old man. Make us into zebras too, they pleaded. So the wise old man painted more donkeys. As he did, more and more 
donkeys came. The old man could not paint fast enough. Soon the donkeys became impatient. They began to kick and stir about and then knocked over the paint pots. There was no more paint. The painted donkeys ran off to become zebras. The unpainted donkeys, because of their impatience, had to return to work. This is why both donkeys and zebras roam the earth. This is why it is important to be patient. The end. It was bedtime at the zoo, but it was not quiet. The animals were not sleeping. They were all talking. Up in his paddock, the zebra was very, very tired, but he could not go to sleep because of the noise. So the zebra said, Shh, it's time to go to sleep. But the monkeys did not want to go to sleep. They said, Oop, 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 and swung around the trees. The zebra said, Shh, it's time to go to sleep. The lion did not want to go to sleep. He said, Roar and prowled around his den. The zebra said, Shh, it's time to go to sleep. The parrot did not want to go to sleep. She said, squawk, squawk, and flew around amongst the leaves. The zebra said, Shh, it's time to go to sleep. The turtles did not want to go to sleep. They said, snap, snap, and lumbered around the yard by their pond. The zebra said, Shh, it's time to go to sleep. The seals did not want to go to sleep. They said, arp, arp, and splashed around in their pool. The zebra said, shh, it's time to go to sleep. The giraffe did not want to go to sleep. She said, munch, munch, and chewed on the leaves from her tree. The zebra said, shh, it's time to go to sleep. The hippopotamus did not want to go to sleep. He said, snort, snort, and rolled around in the mud by his pond. The zebra said, shh, it's time to go to sleep. The rhinoceros did not want to go to sleep. She went stamp, stamp, and stirred up the dust in her field. The zebra said, shh, it's time to go to sleep. The polar bear did not want to go to sleep. He said, grrr, and stalked around the ice. The zebra said, shh, it's time to go to sleep. Suddenly, it got very quiet at the zoo. None of the animals were talking anymore. They were all asleep. The monkeys were asleep in their trees. The lion was asleep in his den. The parrot was asleep in her nest amongst the trees. The turtles were asleep by their pond. The seals were asleep by their pool. The giraffe was asleep by her tree. The hippopotamus was asleep in the mud. The rhinoceros was asleep in her field. The polar bear was asleep on the ice. And up in his paddock, the zebra said, Shh, and he closed his eyes and went to sleep. The end. Lots and lots of zebra stripes. Patterns in Nature by Stephen R. Swinburne Patterns are lines and shapes that repeat. 
Some patterns are simple and some are not. You can find patterns in spring, summer, fall, and winter. Patterns can be circles or spots. Patterns can be stripes or lines. Patterns can be spirals. Patterns can be found on the fur of animals. or the feathers of a bird. Patterns can be found on the scales of a snake, or the shell of a turtle. Some patterns show growth. Some patterns show age. Some patterns are straight lines. Some patterns are curved lines. Some patterns last only a short time. Some patterns last forever. You can find patterns in a park. Or a pond. At a beach. or on the forest floor. Finding a pattern is fun. Look for patterns where you live. Can you find patterns in your lunch snack? Can you find patterns on shelves? Can you find patterns in vegetables? Can you find patterns on insects? Can you find patterns on trees? Can you find patterns on flowers? Patterns make our world a beautiful place. 